everybody, welcome back to the craft room. It is Wednesday, August 12th, no, 11th. Wednesday, August 11th. The bad news is they have extended our heat advisory until Friday now. It was Wednesday, then they extended it to Thursday, and now they've extended it to, to Friday. It is almost 9 p.m. We are using the light. It's not quite as hot. It's a lot better than it has been the last several days. Thank goodness. But, um, let's see. Let me open the weather app and tell you what the temperature is. If you can see, I'm sweating. And if my face looks a little red, it probably is because I got a lot of sunshine today and it was so nice. I will tell you about that here in just a minute. But, the actual temperature is... 84 and it feels like 90 which 90 is a lot better than the 100 and whatever it was that I told you was last night so anyway it is slowly gradually getting a little bit cooler which is nice I'm looking forward to I mean, I'm not complaining about the hot because I know I will complain even more when it's cold outside because I do not like cold weather at all but I was thought I would stop in and let you know that I did go see Big Boy today. Here is a picture of Big Boy. I'll put it like over here or maybe I don't know. I think it's on this side where the pictures go up. But I I went up to see Big Boy. I went up with a friend and we walked up there and it's like let's see one two three. We walked about three and a half four blocks there and back and it was very very warm. We left about a quarter till four Big Boy was supposed to show up at 4, but when we got there, we overheard somebody say that he left the previous town about 20 minutes ago. And I don't know how fast steam engines go, but just a little secret, this is not a full steam engine. <laughs> he had a diesel motor as well. But uh, he was actually about 30 minutes late. He showed up at about 4.30 instead of 4 o'clock. But... I did get to go see Big Boy. I do have some video footage of that. I will have to put that together on my laptop because I was going to use my camera. I even charged it up last night, but I could not see the screen. I did not know if it was recording, so I'm like, I'll just put it in my pocket and I'll use my phone. So I used my phone and did the recording, so I have some decent amount of footage for you guys of Big Boy coming around the corner. And as you know, back in the day when the train was coming in, they always toot, 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 toot their horn, you know, to let everybody know that they were coming into the depot. Oh, it was so awesome, you guys. So super exciting. I loved it a lot. So be watching for that. I'll probably schedule it to where it comes up this weekend while we're super busy. Um, I'll probably be able to record tomorrow night because Thursdays are a little bit slower-ish for us normally. But I should be able to get a little bit of a video in tomorrow night, so watch for that video either Friday or possibly Saturday or Sunday, depending on what else I decide to record for you guys. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a little update on my Tunisian flat hat. I did get to work on it a little bit today. Um, the, my ball is getting really floppy. I think I might need to take some tape and cinch it up a little bit. Did anybody else do that? when your ball of yarn, skinny yarn, whatever you call it, starts getting a little floppy, do you like, maybe a rubber band will also work, but do you like cinch it up a little bit so it's not quite so floppy and it doesn't fall apart on you before you're done? But anyway, I'll do that here in a little bit. But this is a, a Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek and it is purple and gray multi. I've said it enough, I don't have to look. But I really like it, it's really cool. And I don't know where to put this. I'll stick it right there. And I am at the end of a row and I just stuck it in my bag. I put the hook in the loop. I did not use my little tip of putting a stitch marker in the loop, but it, it didn't pull out. It's quite long. But this stitch marker right here is where I was last time you guys seen it yesterday, if you watched my video. So I did a total of three rows today just three but we are now going back into the purple with my return stitch I know you probably can't see it but down here is my return stitch 
I started back with the purple. So we're going to have a little bit of purple. And then I'm guessing we'll probably go into this gray strip. And I measured this and I guesstimated it was right about four inches when I had this. And I was correct. It was like right at four inches. And I believe I'm going to have to go uh, reference the pattern again. I've got it printed off somewhere, but I've also got it saved on one of my one of my devices. I don't know. I've got like three of them that I save four actually that I save patterns and web pages on. So either that or I'll just go look it up again because it is a free pattern on Yarn Inspirations. But I think I go to about six inches and then I start the decrease. So about another two inches and I will be able to start the decrease on this hat. And this is like the Tunisian ribbed hat or something like that. Free pattern on Yarn Inspirations and it is done flat. So that's what little bit I got done today in between talking with my friend and going and seeing Big Boy and Wednesdays is cleaning day so I come sweep or I sweep our restaurant and hubby mops it just everything else that went on throughout the day. The other thing I have to show you is I went to Dollar Tree tonight. I was somebody stole our soap dispenser just like the normal soap bottles that you you know buy at the store somebody stole it last week it's not like they got any soap in it because it was practically empty and I did not see it in the trash can so somebody had to walk off with it why I don't know maybe they needed a soap holder but anyway I went to the Dollar Tree because I was hoping to get like a little plastic soap holder or something but the only ones that they had were glass and I know better than that because it is a tile floor and I know it would probably get broken. So I bought a new, just brand new soap dispenser. Little, you know, the hand soap one. Because we have soap that we can refill it with. But while I was there, I happened to run across their yarn stash with the Halloween stuff. It's not where it belongs. Everything in that store was just kind of like hodgepodge, mix match, put in strange places. For real. I mean yarn with the Halloween stuff I'd, anyway and this is the first time I've actually seen they did have quite a bit of acrylic yarn so maybe people are getting tired of it I have still yet to use mine I actually put it in my bag and I was gonna start a crochet hat today but I didn't have the right hook I had a J hook but I didn't have the I hook so I'm gonna need to find my I hook and put it in my bag so I can start that hat and I did grab the yarn that I got from Dollar Tree because I wanted to try it out so while I was there, they had some cotton yarn. The only one they had was, they had like six, six or seven of the same color. I only got two. I was tempted, but I only got two because I was trying to not spend more than $10. And that's, I, or not more than $5. So between the two yarn and the soap dispenser is three. And then I bought a, like a five pack or four pack of ramen noodles. Which I've noticed their food stuff used to be like mostly made out of country. But a lot of their stuff now is name brand stuff that I could get at my grocery store. So that's why I bought the ramen noodles. I'm trying to do a little bit of stocking up for the winter. But anyway, I've got some of their Just Cotton. The Premier Just Cotton. And the color on this one is something sage. Sage Moral. That's kind of like a... A green I wouldn't call it mint green I don't know what color green it's sage green but just green and white kind of whatever you want to call it moral mixed stripe whatever so I got two of these I don't know what I'm gonna do with them quite yet but like I said before on the acrylic I thought it, for a dollar it's a really good price because basically you're getting a little bit more than what you would normally pay with um, you know regular yarn so this is 2.1 ounces for a dollar and it's a 85% cotton 15% polyester which cotton polyester is acceptable I guess it's not 100% cotton but it'll work since it's mostly cotton and you figure the crafter secret cotton is 229 and it is 2.5 ounces so this is three dollars for 2.5 ounces this is one dollar for 2.1 ounces 
And the Crafter Secret, which I got this one right here that I'm referencing here. Um, this one is 120 yards. This one is 104 yards. You got a little bit less yardage here, but you've got the same weight. And then 71 grams in this one, 60 grams in this one. So overall, meters. This has 100 meters, this has 96 meters. So overall, it's roughly about the same. You're paying $3 for, um, I lost track here. $3 for two and a half ounces, and you're paying a dollar for two ounces. So you're getting a dollar more for a half an ounce. So I might, you know, try that out. I've got some things I want to do eventually. I'm like way behind on things I want to do trying to get caught up on other things. I eventually want to start working on my craft room, but I think that's going to wait until it starts cooling off just a little bit because I need to pack everything up, move everything out, and then first thing we're going to do is fix my ceiling, which those two ceiling tiles that we need to put back up, and then I get to scrape all the old paint chips off the wall. But I'm going to be bringing you guys along on that process as well. So, yeah, but my face, I mean, you can see, I know mean, you can see the white right here on my hairline. My face is super red. My arms don't look any much different than they normally do, but my face is burnt because we were out in direct sunlight, standing on concrete when Big Boy came into town. So that's why my face is a little red. So it might look a little bit darker after the red goes away but probably not a whole lot because I normally just burn and then I, I don't tan. I just burn and I go back white. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird like that. But anyway, I thought I'd show you the new yarn that I got and show you my progress that I made today on that knit hat. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, like I said, I'm going to dig for my crochet hook. I'm not sure exactly where it's at. I'm not, is that it? That's a G. I'll have to find it because I'm not seeing it right off in here. So it's probably stuck somewhere else in another bag. But I want to grab, grab that so I can start on that other hat, the crochet hat. And then I will try and work on the Tunisian hat a little bit more, make some more progress on that. And yeah, that's what I got for you. So sorry for the rambling along and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will get that other video edited and up for you guys here in the next few days. So thank you for joining me here in the craft room and I will see you right back here for my next video. Well, unless it's the big boy video and then I won't be here for the big boy video, but I will see you right back here in the craft room for my next yarn video.